Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. So if you are just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jackma with your days. On this channel, we discuss relocation opportunity to Portugal where we reside and to other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you will have a beautiful and affordable relocation experience. Now, I want to quickly do an update regarding one of the posts that I made uh, on a vocational study to Vienna. It's called 42 Vienna. And in fact, it's one of the, it's one of the most viewed um, uh, videos so far on my channel. And I really appreciate you guys for that anyway. Now, I, I, while I was presenting that video, if you remember vividly, for those of you that watched it, I made mention of the fact that uh, they have campuses in numerous countries in the world, even in Africa, they have campuses almost everywhere in the world. So it's not a, it's not a, it's not a small company that they that they run in a very minute place or minute countries. You know, they are almost they are, it's, a, it's a global brand. For the two Vienna is a global brand, so they are in every country in the world. So. But I only posted the vacancy that they released for 42 Vienna. And I mean, to the glory of God, some of the people on my on my uh, on our telegram group passed the uh, the person stage. So they are waiting for their uh, their letter to be issued. Some already have their letter anyway. And so far, it is the most it is the most cost effective relocation opportunities so far that are posted because there's no tuition fee, there's no qualification required, there's no experience required. All that they require from you is your enthusiasm to be able to take interest in the data, or sorry, take interest in the tech, tech skills like data analysis, cyber securities, artificial intelligence and the likes. That is all they require from you to have. Then they ask you to play some games. I mean, I've already discussed the procedure to play or to pass the test or the or the game that they usually do uh, for people. But that, that's not the point of this uh, video. The point of this video is that I discovered that a whole lot of people are still waiting to receive, especially those that have passed the, the same stage that they did online. They are still waiting for a letter to be issued to them to take to the embassy to apply for visa. Now, this is where, this is the point of this video. I said, I stated on that video that this company, 42 Vienna, I mean, they call them 42, but which means any country that, so which means if it is in Porto, it will be 42 Porto. If it is in Luxembourg, it will, it will be 42 Luxembourg, depending on the country, but the general name of the company is 42. That's how they call them. So, but for the one I posted, it, it's for 42 Vienna. And I said that they are in about 54 or 51 countries, European countries all over the world. What, what, what I expected from everyone is to do a research about other countries where these people had. The countries, I mean, the, the, the year is fresh. So I expected that everyone would do research because if I posted for the two Vienna, you can imagine that it will, it, a lot of people will be on top of 42 Vienna trying to apply. So apparently now, some people are still waiting for letter to be issued. Some have already gotten their letter, and some, based on the feedback they are receiving from when they try to send a reminder, it shows that they are they are getting choked off because a lot of people are applying. Some people even used my video, reposted it on their own channel. So, which means the the view is multiplying on different channel. So that means a whole lot of people are on forty two Vienna instead of view to look at other countries where 42 Vienna, or sorry, where 42 as a company themselves are in operations and try to look for where the application is currently going on and apply. For instance, from what I even gathered, uh, uh, some people are already, I mean, are already on their, I mean, preparing their applications and everything because they passed 42 London. They are already preparing the application to apply for visa and go to 42 London. So, and I was asking myself, why is it that people cannot think out of the box, especially when we provide information? We, 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 we don't want to waste your time because we know that you are managing data. We provide you information that, oh, this is this, this is that. So we ask, expect that you will sit down at your free time, do extensive research about this information and see what other areas it will benefit you. Because for a lot of people are on 42 Vienna case and that place now is getting choked up. 
So for the two London, a lot of people are already, I mean, those that are able to take out of the bus, they are already on the case of 42 London and their own pacing is starting by uh, July or thereabout. So, I mean, I, I just wanted to update you guys. So I sat down and did another you know, extensive research. I said, okay, let me look at other countries in which 42 Vienna are in operation. But I mean, just to show you some of their deadlines, the pacing application stage, and are, if you need any further, you know, uh, if you need full details about how to apply for, uh, this application anyway, you have to go back to the old video to see details of how you can apply. So the only difference, the only thing that I would expect that uh, might be different is that uh, if you are going to a French speaking country, for instance, the language of instruction might not be, might, might, might not be in English. If you are going to maybe Luxembourg or thereabouts, the language of, so I would expect that you will check each country that they are in operation and see what language of instruction they are using there. And if it is what you have an understanding of, you can apply. So don't box yourself alone to 42 Vienna. It is not only 42 Vienna that is there. 42 London is there, 42 Luxembourg is there, 42 Porto. They are even in Porto, Portugal. They are in Lisbon, okay? So let me quickly show you an update. Let me quickly show you some of the countries that I've researched, okay? And see it and show to you their application procedures and deadline. That you can apply but if you need extensive detailed um, information about it go back to the old video that is showing already on on this video now let me quickly show you some of the um uh, other countries that you can apply to they are currently i mean recruiting uh for all the areas of tech that you are interested in the same procedure the same curriculum, the same guideline is what the 42 use on, I mean, in, in each of these countries, they are even in Africa. I was surprised when I saw them in Morocco. Let me quickly show you details about this thing. Let me, let me show you some of them. Now, this is the country. These are the countries that they are in. So in terms of, if you want to look at it from the global aspect, this is it. Now, they are in Africa. This is Africa here. Yeah, you see, they are in Madagascar, Morocco, Angola, Okay, that is if you are interested in any of those African countries, Morocco and the likes, they are, they are there. So, but if you are interested in America, see, they are in Brazil. They are they have different campuses in Brazil. They have different campuses. They are, they are in Quebec. I mean, so why are you guys not exploiting this a relocation opportunity? And some of these countries, you can move with your family. Okay, they are, you can move with your family in some of these countries. Okay, so this is Quebec. Uh, yeah, Canada. Wow. Canada. This is Canada, Quebec. Okay. So you can move with your family on a simple and easy study. I'm sorry, um, um, uh, relocation visa. That is, this is the simplest relocation visa that I've posted so far um, because it is tuition free. The only thing you have to bother about is your living expenses. And let me quickly give you this tip. Before you play the game, this is what I what I what I learned from some of the followers on my Telegram group. Use a different email just to have an understanding of how the game looks like. Then, when you have an understanding of how the game looks like, then you can now use your own email to reapply so that you can play the game and pass to, to the, the same stage. The application procedure for all almost of the country anyway is three stage. You have to register. You have to pass the. Uh, game. When you pass the game, then you have to go for the PCIN or online um, um, examinations or meeting or introductory meeting. Then thereafter, then they invite you for the PCIN where there will take about four weeks of extensive uh, information and you know just for them to get to know you and your enthusiasm regarding uh, tech. Now that is for America. This is Asia. Let's see Japan, Tokyo. They are they are everywhere. South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia. Thailand, Turkey, South Korea, you know, uh, Lebanon, UAE. They are in UAE as well. So, what is your what is your excuse? Why are you focused only on forty two Vienna? Okay, in Europe, they are in Austria, Belgium. Uh, they are in Belgium and the uh, Czech Republic, Finland, France, and then yes, where and they have multi multi campus in in France anyway. Germany, they are in Germany. They are in Italy, they are in Luxembourg, they are in Portugal. Yes, Portugal, they are in Portugal, they are in Poland, they are in Spain. What is Switzerland, Netherlands? So they are there. So what is your excuse that, and you know, even in London, yes, 42 London, Istanbul, they are there. So what is your excuse and why are you guys focused only on uh, 
uh, and uh, Oceania, and this is Australia. They are in Australia. So if you want to look at it from the global stage, so that is why they said they are in about 54 European countries or 54 countries. So don't focus only on 42 Vienna. They are in other countries. So if 42 Vienna, for instance, is not you have passed the person and they are not issuing you the letter on time, quickly look at other European countries, that especially if you are married, that allow you to move with your family so that you can quickly pass their own person and then, you know, expect at least one of them will send you the person letter, be able to move. So you don't have to focus. Let me, so let me, just to end this um, um, video, let me show you some deadlines on some of these countries. So <clears throat> now this is 42 London. They are, the scene, one of the person is going to start by 1st of July, 2024. So, which means by August or September of this year, they will, they will, they will, they will you know, start fully the, the program. So, and which means if you want to go for this person, you have to first of all pass their, uh, their, their introductory meeting among other, uh, I mean, you have to register, pass the introductory meeting, pass the game before you can, you know, register for this. That is for 42 London. So I won't dwell much. And this is, Portugal, lovers of Portugal. This is Portugal. So if you are interested in Portugal, they, you can apply here. And of course, it's, it's usually the same timetable that they operate. So which means by August or September of this year, that is when you can, you can commence your activities to uh, move to Portugal. And they are facing you, you. Of course, you have to apply first. That is for Portugal. And this is for uh, this is for Porto. Yes, this is this. Now, this is Luxembourg. This is Luxembourg. Let's check Luxembourg timing. This is timing. So, which means the next piscine is starting by is starting by um um by July. By July, they have July and they have um um uh, September. This is September. Yeah, this is September, and then curriculum kickoff by October 2024. So, which means by October, everything will start fully. So, and you have to register. There are some checking dates that you have to be, you know. Uh, going online to check if you know they have some sort of feedback regarding your introductory meeting and all of those things. That is for Luxembourg. This is for Luxembourg, and this is for um yeah, this is for Belgium. Yeah, this is Belgium. August everything kick off. The person is um, Monday fifth of February to Friday, and then you know what other things are there. If you want to go for their open days, I think the open day is passed anyway, and uh, so. Yeah, this is their PSIN, and this is when the uh, academic calendar starts fully. That is for uh, Belgium, <clears throat> okay? And this is for Spain, okay? This is their own uh, deadline. It's similar as well, uh, June 17, and uh, the registration is open, and you can do it now. So select the next book. We have available June 17 and June and July 22nd. So that is for Spain, Malaga, and they have different campuses in Spain anyway, Madrid, Malaga, and the likes. And this is for Paris. Yes, Paris, they commence their own by November 14th. The next piscine are uh, in, uh, in, uh, sept uh, in, I don't want to give you wrong information. Yeah, the next piscine, according to their time time uh, timetable here, uh, in September 2024, Monday 16 to September, oh, okay, yes. So, and they have piscine for August, they have piscine for July. So you can select anyone that is, you know, that is suitable to you. But for Paris, their, uh, their own academic calendar starts fully by November 14th. So that is that for um, Paris, I mean, France. So, yes. So what, 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 other, what other thing do you people, I remember when I was doing my, my, my JAPA, plan, I mean, four to five years ago, I will, after my daily walk, I will come back at night, finish eating from 11 to about 3 or 4 a.m. I'm still on my system researching opportunities overseas. So if you, do, if you don't, if you don't want to put in the hours or the work to do the research, you cannot, you cannot expect to get something reasonable that will help you to, to be able to relocate on time that meets your budget. You have to put in the time to do the research and be able to think out of the box and do extensive research to be able to achieve your JAPA plan, okay? So this is why I just wanted to, you know, quickly update you guys because I can see that a whole lot of people are focused on 42 Vienna and now they are getting jam-packed. The same thing happened with the post, I, I, with the vocational study I posted to uh, Portugal. The, the, the uh, tourism school, they were so overwhelmed that they, 
they, they, they got confused with the number of applications they received because a, low, a whole lot of people are focused on Portugal now. So this is an opportunity for you. They are in different countries in the world. The year is very fresh. So don't box yourself into only Austria alone. Look at other European countries. I, I only touched about six or five other European countries. Look at other ones, but you have to make sure that the language of instruction uh, 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 is you pay attention to it. If if you are if you are from an English speaking country, make sure that the language of instruction is in English before you invest your time on that on that. I mean, in that uh, website or in that country. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly update you guys about this. You have to put in time, research information, do extensive research about them, and you know if you follow the tips and information that I provided on my first video and on this video. You should be able to get to the same stage and then uh, you should be able to request for the uh, letter that will help you to be able to apply for visa. Okay. Thank you very much once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Okay. Thank you very much once again. Bye bye for now.